it's in the Northeast. There's been such a proliferation of gaming that all these different states are now having a direct impact on each other. So, uh, you know, the, the issue in Atlantic City is not as much that it's a what the quality of gaming is there. The issue is the convenience of people being able to drive 10, 15 minutes to to go spend their money as opposed to one, two, or three hours. So, but that's also Atlantic City's advantage. We do have the 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 bones and the beginnings of a very good destination area for conventions and tourism. It's just it's never been capitalized on. We've been our operators have been interested in the easy money and not the money, the long term, more difficult customer. You know, we've had journalists from all over the world, literally from all over the world and the United States, falling all over themselves trying to write the best obituary for Atlantic City. And the fact is, is that Atlantic City is a very robust gaming market. We still have over two and a half billion dollars of gaming revenue in Atlantic City. And, uh, you know, that's all concentrated in a 44 block area. It's not spread out among an entire state like Pennsylvania or New York or Maryland. So the economic concentration here is such that we do have advantages over the other convenience type gaming. We actually do have the ability to really focus on this as a destination where other places are one-off casinos. It doesn't matter where they are. If you look at Baltimore, they're going to have one casino in Baltimore. That's not exactly a destination. Yeah. So we have that concentration. We have still a lot of capital investment. And I think that, you know, at the end of the day, we're getting close to the bottom of our revenue and that any city, any city in the world would fall over themselves to take an industry who's doing two, two and a half billion dollars worth of revenue every year and all the employment that comes with that. So uh, I think that these obituaries are, are very, very exaggerated and just really in some cases it's unethical the way that the press has come in here and tried to stir that kind of thought up.